हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल प्रिंस ऑटोमेशन डेस्टिनेशन दिस साइड प्रिंस वेलकम वंस अगेन टू आर क्यूकम्बर सीरीज सो इन आर लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ क्यूकम्बर सीरीज वी कवर्ड हाउ टू एग्जीक्यूट योर टेस्ट केसेस यूजिंग मेवन कमांड इन केस यू आर नॉट फैमिलियर विद हाउ टू एग्जीक्यूट योर टेस्ट केसेज यूजिंग मेवन आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज टेक अ लुक ऑन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो फॉर विच आल बी शेयरिंग द लिंक इन द आई आईकन सो प्लीज टेक अ लुक which will help you understand the current lecture and in today's lecture we are going to talk about how to pass cucumber options using the maven command before that let us try to understand what are the cucumber options so uh, as you are aware that in order to write test cases in cucumber what do we do is we write the feature files and under feature files we write the scenarios and under scenario we write the gherkin steps and corresponding to these gherkin steps we have the step definitions right but cucumber is unaware about these like where exactly the feature files are and where exactly the step definitions are so in order for the cucumber runner to know like where exactly the uh, feature files are and where exactly the step definitions are what we do is we provide cucumber options section cucumber options annotation we can say to the runner and there we provide the different cucumber options so features is used to pass the feature location so in this particular location now cucumber runner will look for the feature files and glue is to provide the location of step definitions and hooks files hooks meaning at the rate before after right to perform some before and after operations before each scenario and this is how we can execute the specific uh, test cases using tags so we can provide any particular tag of a particular test case and we can execute similarly plugin is used to uh, mainly used for the generation of report so now we are using it here right in the cucumber options we are hard coding it but when we have pushed this particular code in git and we want to use this in the ci cd in that case we cannot change uh, these options uh, every time so how to parameterize these options on the fly so for that purpose what we do is we pass these options through the maven command so let me open the terminal from where we can execute the test cases so let us discuss one by one so let us first discuss how to pass a particular tag so in order to pass a particular tag what we do is we write mvn test which is used to execute the test cases but along with that what we want is which type of test case we want to execute so this is how we provide the parameter hyphen d is to pass the parameter to maven and this is the cucumber parameter to pass the tags right so cucumber dot filter dot tags this is what we'll be providing so now let us say we want to execute this type this test case right a test case having at the data table annotation so this is how i'll be doing so what i'll do i have kept this particular option in my notepad i'll go to terminal again and i will write mvn test hyphen d and double quotes and what i will do if you will notice the tag provided here is data table as a list but let us say we want to execute a separate test case then what we will do let us say we want to execute this particular test case at the rate data table while at the rate data table as a list if you will notice what we are doing in this case we are launching the url we are entering the credentials we are clicking on login and we are verifying the following products right why i am showing you to differentiate post execution right so that you'll be able to understand like which particular test case got executed right so this is the test case that we want to execute this particular test case has three steps first one is launching of url second entering credentials and then clicking on uh, login so what i will do simply i'll paste this particular tag and will execute my test case now so mvn test hyphen d cucumber dot filter dot tags to provide the tags on the fly and is it, it is really helpful during execution or during uh, execution in pipeline and is helpful in parameterizing the test cases in the pipeline i mean now it got executed so to confirm you that this particular test case got executed let me open the report open in uh, extent report i'm opening so let me open the extent report so this is the extent report now if i'll first of all i would like to show you this is the test case name validate login functionality with valid credentials while for the test case which is provided by default is having a different name given user is verifying data 
so this is the one which is provided in ui test tunnel but we have executed this at the data table that's why it is showing this particular test case name right and then after uh, it has three steps first, first it is launching the url so it is launching the url secondly it is entering the credentials so it is entering the credentials and third step is user click on login so user is clicking on login right so this is how we can pass the tags using the maven commands so this is uh, one option another way is we can pass the feature file as well let us say we want to change the location of feature files on the fly so in that case what we do is using hyphen d we pass cucumber.features in that case and we can point to a particular feature file so let me do the same so cucumber.features right and uh, let me go to this particular case and if you will go to UI test nana, we are pointing to SRC test resources. So what does it mean? It will look for all the feature files available under SRC test resources. Now what we want is we want to point to the particular uh, like feature, right? So what we will do, cucumber.features and let us say we want to point to data table, right? So copy path and I'll be copying this path from content root. I'll be passing it here now what will happen it will read a feature file from this location and it will read this particular tag as a test case right so what we will do so now if i'll execute this particular test case what will happen it will point to this particular data table dot feature and in this data table dot feature it will look for this particular tag if it's, if this test is this tag won't exist it won't execute any test case but it exists in this case that's why it will execute the test case so now to confirm you like it executed this particular test case let me go to the feature file so this is the test case where we are launching the url we are entering credentials we are clicking on login and then we are verifying following products right now let me go to this particular thing open in browser first of all we'll read the uh, title test case title so test case title is given user is verifying data now let us understand the steps so first of all we are launching the url and then entering credentials so we are launching url we are entering credentials right and then what we are doing we are clicking on login button so if you come here we are clicking on login button and then we are verifying the products so this is how we have executed a particular test case now to confirm that we are pointing to this particular feature file what i will do is i'll simply replace it with some tag which is not available in this particular data table dot feature right then what will happen it won't be able to execute this test case this time so you see that uh, no test case uh, got executed and it would be showing that there is no matching no features present in the test execution right so using uh, uh, this features option we are pointing to the features but it will read rest of the options from the uh, cucumber options provided in the test tunnel. now how to run a scenario without a tag so as we are pointing the features so similarly what we can do is we can point to a particular scenario in the feature file by providing the line number so what i will do in this case i'll simply go to data table so we have executed data table as a list we have executed the data table and now let us say we want to execute data table as a map so what we will do is we will pick this particular line which is line number 30 and this time what i will do i'll give it name hyphen uh, dot 30 right and uh, now let me execute this particular test case and you will observe that it has executed this particular test case this time and uh, you will notice that it has ignored the tag this time because we are specifically pointing to a particular feature right particular scenario in the feature by providing the line number so it is not considering the tag so this is how we can run the uh, run a particular scenario from the feature by providing the line number now let me reopen the extent report and show you what exactly has happened so again let me come to this particular case 
so data table as a match uh, as a map again this has this particular given user is verifying the data right this has this name now let me confirm so first of all it is launching url it is launching the url then it is entering credentials entering credentials clicking on login so clicking on login is here then it is verifying following products and their respective prices so last time we were verifying the products only this time we are verifying the products and their respective prices right so if i'll go here so user verifies following product and respective prices right so this is how we can execute a particular test case from a feature file by pointing to the particular scenario by providing the line number right so this is how we can do it next thing is let us say we want to provide cucumber plugin right suppose we want to generate some cucumber report right in that case what we need to do is we need to provide hyphen d cucumber dot plugin so cucumber dot plugin is the option by which we can provide the reporting right so what we will do so first of all let me delete this target okay and now what i will do and let me go to ui test tunnel so if you will notice in this particular plugin we are generating only extent report we are not generating any other report right now in order to generate html report what we will do is we will simply copy this section cucumber.plugin this is to generate the html report html colon target slash this is the location so html report we want to generate then it will be generating in target location and under target it will be generating cucumber report section and under cucumber reports section it will be creating cucumber report.html right so now to do that let me do one thing ambient test <clears throat> and uh, hyphen d and this one but let me fix this thing as well because this is not a valid tag so what we will do in this case uh, we will simply point to the previous test case data table as a list right and let us see this time so it will what it will do is it will generate a cucumber html report along with this particular report So let me expand target and under target we have uh, created this cucumber report section and under cucumber reports this is the report which got generated let me show you the time as well if uh, available so it ran uh, for 21 24 seconds only and uh, the duration uh, was 7.84 uh, seconds so this was last run right when did we last run right and if you will observe so we have executed this particular test case so this is how we can generate the report by providing the parameter uh, to the maven command now how to pass multiple cucumber options suppose you want to point to dashboard feature and in dashboard feature you want to point to at the rate smoke right so let me do one thing so in that case we pass this parameters by using it multiple times hyphen d cucumber dot features for one feature one option i mean and then cucumber dot filter dot tags uh, with another tag right another option i mean right so what i will do i will simply go to first of all dashboard and in dashboard i have smoke test case right so what i will do i'll go to copy copy path copy it from root and then after what i will do mvn test hyphen d cucumber dot features let me confirm this is the parameter so cucumber dot features and this is the feature file then hyphen d what else we want to provide we want to provide tag as well so cucumber dot filter dot tags and then what we will do tags and we will point to at the rate smoke tag this time right and let me execute this particular test case this time so it should point to this particular dashboard feature and in that it will point to smoke tag and let us confirm the same by execution so we are launching the url so it will simply launch the source time web right it didn't log in this time because we didn't even want it to log in for this particular test case 
So let me show you the extent report once again. Open in Chrome. So when you will notice, first of all, the test case name, which is validate dashboard. And when I'll expand, given user has launched the URL. So this is what I wanted to cover as part of current video. Let us quickly recap what we have covered. So we covered how to pass a particular tag to execute the test cases uh, using the Maven command and how to pass features to point to a particular feature file, how to execute a particular scenario from a feature file, uh, feature file by pointing to the line number of a scenario within the feature file. Then we discussed how to generate additional report apart from whatever has been provided in the cucumber options in the runner section and then we discussed how to pass multiple cucumber options so this is guys uh, what i wanted to cover as part of current video thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again